Hey guys, John here, and welcome back to John's RC. So today in front of me, I am back with the FMS F35 64mm V2 EDF jet. And I've already done a maiden flight on this bird and I posted it up on YouTube. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. I'll put that link in the description. It was an awesome flight. But what I'm here today is test out batteries. So on my maiden flight, I put this thing on a four cell battery, but apparently it was the wrong size battery uh, to fly it with. Because it was a 64 millimeter EDF jet, I automatically assumed it was gonna be on a four cell because all my other four cell jets, such as the E-Flight F-15, the E-Flight F-16, um, the T-7A, those were all on four cell. And I just naturally assumed that this was going to be on four cell too. So uh, it was actually meant for three cell. FMS changed the power system to make it uh, capable of flying on three cell because the original V1 was just on um, four cell. So I have a Spectrum three cell 2200 milliamp hour battery pack that I already have installed for the plane. This is just for show. And it's a 50C discharge rate. So I can open the canopy. You can see ESC is an XC60. We just converted it to EC3 for uh, easier handling. And everything is good to go. So I have my aileron control, my elevator. There's no rudder on the vertical stab. I have my tail wheel and a half throttle. So just go ahead, put the canopy back on and we should be good to go. All right. This will be my first flight of the week. Again. All right. Take me off. All right, the F-35 is in the air. She's doing pretty good. Um, I'm gonna trim her out a bit. It's trimmed out for a four cell CG. So I do need a bit of negative elevator trim. She's still really, really fast for her size. This is like, what, 50% throttle I'm cruising on? I'm gonna go ahead and punch it to 100. Yeah, she's still extremely fast. Still warming up. You need to put a little bit more X on it. I don't even know if I have Expo on it. It's a tad bit touchy, but nothing too much. Flying great right now. Do some nice slow action. Low and slow. Yeah, this jet is amazing. And like I said, this is only on like 50% throttle. She's doing so well. My timer is set to three minutes. Let's see. I have 40 seconds left. Okay, do two more passes and then we're gonna go ahead and land it. That's some inverted. 
action. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and land it. It's difficult without having a rudder, but it's okay. I'm on the verge of stalling. <laughs> All right, so that was my first flight on the three cell version of the F-35, well not version, the same F-35, but it's my first three cell flight on it. And to be quite honest, she feels almost around the same. Um, on the four cell, I was wondering why this thing was so dang fast because for her size and just for being a 64 mil, this thing was super, super fast. But on the three cell, you get that same, around the same level of performance. Maybe not as fast, but yeah. But with the three cells, she still flies amazingly and she's still as maneuverable. She still have enough speed to do all your aerobatics. So, so yeah, the three cells actually a really nice fit for the F-35. So now let's go fly on four cell again to uh, see if it matches the characteristics. Awesome flight, John. Awesome flight. All right, guys, we have the F-35 again. This time we have it plugged in on a four cell battery. So our battery of choice is going to be the generation one Spectrum 4S 2200 milliamp hour battery pack with a 30C discharge rate. And you can see here, I have it installed in the plane. So you still have a pretty good fit. Uh, it's a little tighter, but not too much. So you will put the canopy back on. I reset my trims to where they used to be before the three cell flight. It was just the elevator. So let's go ahead and fly. I also changed my rates. My aileron rates are at 90 now with 13% uh, expo. And my elevator has, sorry, my ailerons are at 40% expo, 95 rates. And my elevator has 15% expo, 95 rates. Okay, taking off. You can see how much faster that takeoff is. On a 3S, it does need quite a bit of runway to get it off the ground. And I can automatically see a difference in speed. This is at 40% throttle. Still gliding pretty good with the four cell. After this inverted pass, I'm gonna punch throttle. She just glides. She also has a nice whistle to her. I really like that. All right, punch and throttle. Yeah, that thing's just awesome. And my rates feel better now. It feels a bit more natural. I'm feeling really good. Let's get some low and slow. Hold on. Let me just... Uh, all the way to the end. Try not to stall her. Yeah, 
Yeah, the flight performance on this bird is just so good. That's not even full throttle. <laughs> How much time do I have left? 22 seconds, okay. I'm gonna do a pass so I can slow down and then we're gonna start landing. Yeah, my face is itchy. Bugs need to get away. Scratching my face, okay. Yeah, these approaches for landing could really use a rudder. Bit of a bouncer there. Alright, so that was my second flight on the F-35 with the 4-cell battery again. And this thing just flies so, so well on the 4-cell. And even though the 3-cell is good and you get pretty decent flight times, you get good speed, the 4-cell is just unmatched. I'm not sure about the longevity of the electronics, but while it's still alive, this thing is still really good on the 4-cell. So in my opinion, this is a great pickup. For uh, the price and the performance of this thing, uh, it's kind of like a no-brainer. So even though it's not the most scale F-35 in the world, it's a pretty nice 64 mil jet to pick up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for tuning in to John's RC. And if you're new to this channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys, I'll see you in the next one. Awesome flight, John. Awesome flight.